always wondered like what this place was actually like you know I've got my like you know super super faded memories from that night and I've come to this beach now and it is absolutely nothing like I remember all right good morning the sun is out well the sun's not really out, but it's not raining today. It's not horrible and grey like it was yesterday. We've got some blue sky, feeling good. So today we're actually heading back to Koh Samui, which is cool. Um, I just wanted to come outside and check out the weather, see what it's like today. I'm, I'm very happy it's much better than yesterday. I've just been doing a bit of work this morning, but that's all done. So we're going to pack up the room and we're out. Morning, Cynthia. Hi, morning. I'm hungry. How are we going now? Okay. We're going to pack up and go. We came to this place yesterday for breakfast and it was really good. So we come back. So we're actually really late making it to breakfast this morning. Uh, it's entirely my fault. So I was editing, uh, my last video that I did is 23 minutes long. So the edit for that took like close to six hours, which is just like, oh, I don't want to do that every day. But uh, because of that, we ran a little bit late this morning. I'm actually still doing like the last bits here from the restaurant. Uh, it's just after 11 o'clock. Cynthia's not happy, but food's coming. Wow, well, that was a great breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever, delicious. Uh, the plan is now we're gonna go, we're gonna jump on the ferry and head back to Samui. And I'm hoping it's much easier than the last time. So we got to the wharf, um, we didn't really look at the times for it before we left uh, and the next ferry is not till 4.30 so it's only midday now. Uh, we're gonna, anyway, we're gonna hang out here in the island, go for a drive around and check this place out a little more. So in a way it's good that we've got this extra time. We, we didn't make it to the northwest part of the island. Um, so we're heading up there now and then after we've been up here and around this, this way that we're going, we will have covered just about all the island. So it's actually, yeah, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. So this part of the island is really different from everywhere else we've been. I mean, it's it's very interesting this island, like different parts are so different. So like right now we're in a real tropical kind of area and it seems like there's lots of like hostels and places. This is a real expat community here. Um, it's, and it looks like there's a lot of like backpacker type people, um, but it's very interesting. Whereas other parts of the island are very rural and like farms and villages and stuff. This is a bit more developed and, and it is quite tropical here.
So some parts of the island kind of remind me of like the small villages and stuff that we saw up in the north. Um, you know, this is one of those little parts of the island. Now I'm just like, I'm on a little dirt road. I'm walking along, it's just like a nice little village. The people here are all really friendly. Everyone smiles at you as you walk past and everything. It's a really nice feeling here. So we've come to Hadrian Beach. Uh, this is where the full moon parties are. I came to one, I mentioned it in yesterday's video. So I came to one like years ago and I had a massive night. I was like completely buckled the whole night. Anyway, I, I always wondered like what this place was actually like. You know, I've got my like, you know, super, super faded memories from that night. And I've come to this beach now and it is absolutely nothing like I remember. I thought this beach was huge. I thought it was like really long, really wide. And it is not. I tell you, I had a really, really, really good night that night though, <laughs> obviously. Oh my God, so I'm just like walking along the beach now and look at what is happening in the sky. I think we need to get out of here really quickly. sky behind us it seriously looks like the world's about to end crazy all right we gotta run it's starting to rain <laughs> and I think it's about to really rain I think we're gonna make it back to the car okay Well, we made it just and it is starting to absolutely piss down. So we were very lucky So I've come to check out a waterfall. Uh, it's raining, so I thought it might be quite good. It might be running. Oh, it's getting a bit extreme. It's funny because I'm Australian and I grew up like in the city. I'm scared of everything, like all animals, um, because everything in Australia kills you. I know that's not the case here. Actually, here has quite a few snakes, but it's nothing like Australia. This walk is way more hardcore than I expected. There's just a sign that said like pathway to the waterfall. So I figured like it'd be an easy walk. It is not. And this waterfall's not going either. Man, the photos of this place look so cool. Well, another disappointment. And it's raining right now. It's rainy season. It's been raining like it rained all day yesterday. It's pissing down today. Nothing. Oh, well, back to the car. Right, we have come to, so I got about an hour to kill until the boat until the ferry takes off. Uh, so it's like a weird time. It's like four o'clock now. We're getting on the ferry at five. So I'm a little bit hungry, like surprise, right? Uh, so we're gonna go hang out at the market that we went to a couple of nights ago, have something to eat and just chill out here for a bit until we get on the ferry.
I got a pad thai from here the other night. It was really good. So we're getting one takeaway to take on the ferry with us. And I am getting takoyaki and some sushi. I love Japanese food. Yum, yum, yum. I love having these shakes in Thailand too. It's crazy how cheap they are when you think like it's all fresh fruit. And these are like a dollar each. Like, it's unbelievable. Okay, just got all our tickets and everything checked. Got some weird paperwork. Um, I think we have to go through all that like paperwork, like the QR code stuff again when we get to Samui. I'm really hoping it's easy this time because like last time, actually getting into Samui wasn't bad last time, but coming here was an absolute nightmare. So we've got a recent test and we've got all the paperwork to get here. I'm just hoping it's a quick and easy process because I don't think we're going to get there until about 6.30 or nearly seven o'clock. So I normally like to show off the really cool restaurants that we go to, but unfortunately this meal we're having in the car in the ferry. But that's all good. I feel like I spent half my life in this car anyway. Yeah. You too? Sure. Oh, takoyaki. <laughs> So the last few ferry rides we've taken, uh, the water's been really still, like there was no breeze or anything like that. It was actually a really pleasant ride, but because we had that storm earlier, it's actually quite wild. Like um, there's a bit of swell and it's windy. It's actually really fun. trudging along slowly um, it's actually taking longer than I expect but I think also it's taking even longer because as I showed you before the winds really strong and we we're kind of going into the wind and this thing isn't very aerodynamic <laughs> so right now I'm gonna go downstairs uh, I've got the my live premiere is about to come out so I'm gonna go down hang out on the chat for that and I'll probably stay in the car for the rest of the time Alright, so checking in was really easy. It was a very different experience from when we were on the way there. So uh, all we had to do was show the QR code and because we'd only been there on the island, uh, we didn't have to do anything else and they just let us straight through. So we're through, all good, and just heading to the hotel now. So this is really funny. Cynthia booked a hotel off like booking.com or Agoda. Um, and we didn't know where it was like she just looked at it and she's like yeah this is a cool hotel it's literally right next door to the other hotel that we stayed here in Koh Samui called The Escape it's literally right there it's hilarious hello hello it's so funny that's the dog from like the video two days ago So this 
room's really cute. We're only here for one night. Um, but it's just, it's so funny that it's right next door to where we stayed last time. So this place is right on the water as well. Well, not as much on the water as the last room, but it's still like the water's just out here and we can hear it, which is great. All right, so we had a great day. It was another big day. Um, I've lost Cynthia. She's off. She found a dog and then found another dog and like that's it. She's gone now. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. So we're only here for one night and then we're off somewhere else tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Through any of the hassles that we had to at Copenhagen. Did I say that right? We went to Copenhagen. <sighs> Why can't I say it? Pangan. Pangan. Fucking. Copenhagen. God, I can't, I can't fucking.